this quick tip tutorial we're going to go over on how to get tessellation in your viewport. The reason I'm doing this video is because this is actually one of the most common questions that I'm asked. So I've got here a stone wall, just ignore the messy graph up here and we're going to basically get tessellation. You can see right now we're using just it's just a flat plane there's no tessellation going on here and a lot of people will get this and be like oh why is mine not like how you have it so what you want to do is make sure you always go over to materials go to your defaults and then in metallic roughness you can as well use any of these materials as well and you can always see this tessellation right here at the bottom so you want to make sure you get I'm using a metallic and roughness uh, material here so I'm going to use this metallic roughness which is normally set as the default as well and then make sure that my tessellation is checked now when I click this my window typically yeah here it changes so once you're at here I'm using substance designer latest version so you want to make sure that uh, it's I believe this is different looking in uh, some of the old versions but it's not too different you still see a height area so what you want to do to get this tessellation is basically come down here to height and then make sure that your height map is connected you can see that we've got a texture here and then we're going to just bring this scale up and that controls the strength of how much tessellation you want now if your material looks like this instead when you're getting the scale and there's not really much definition the reason probably is because you're using this standard plane and if we come over to display a wireframe there's not a lot of information here so what you want to do is come to high res because there's so much detail like you really zoom in you can see it there hopefully that comes in all right on your YouTube but because yeah there's so much there on this high res one that that's why I'm getting such a lot of a uh, definition definition and you can bring the tessellation factor down you can see that if I tweak this it's gonna make it more and more adds extra polygons just to give it more fidelity but normally I typically leave this at four if I'm using the high-res plane because you don't really need it higher than that if you're using a different shape say you want to have a look at on your sphere here I'm gonna turn off this wireframe now and then you pump this up and it doesn't actually look too bad on here I'll try the cylinder cylinder sometimes is uh, not got great things but you can see these sharp edges here and the best way to get rid of that is then bring up this tessellation factor and it just kind of smooths that out a bit if you got a slow computer this might be quite demanding so typically leave it on four use high res plane and it looks great so that's basically how you get that tessellation on. So thank you for watching and I hope you found that video useful.